lot of you have asked what my role is out on site. Mainly, I'm a rigger, scaffolder and crane operator. But I also hold tickets to other machinery, being forklift, telehandler, water cart, dump truck and a few others. On this particular project that I'm on, I'm out here as a sandblaster. I like learning different trades, so whatever project I go to, I'm highly versatile. Tonight, I'll be blasting this pipe so they can test the integrity of these welds. The kit that I'll be wearing is this Blast 1 nylon front overalls with my custom Tommy the Cowboy artwork, some blast gloves, an over 2000 helmet with a headlamp that I stuck on and this adjustable cooler. This allows me to adjust the airflow going in the helmet and also the temperature. Righto, so to blast this pipe, because it's only a small section, we'll be using the Mighty Might connected to this one inch airline which runs to an air prep and down to a compressor. We'll be using this garnet which is an abrasive sand typically used to finish steel surfaces. Righto, it's time to kit up. I thought I'd answer a question that I typically see being how do I get onto a FIFO gig? The best advice I can give to someone who's looking to jump into this industry is learn a trade or a skill that's highly desirable. In my experience, the trades that are highly sought after are fitters, welders, sparkies, riggers, gaffies, crane operators, boilies, just to name a few. You can still get onto these gigs without having a trade or a skill as a trade assistant, but the question I get asked the most is what's the best way to get onto these gigs, and in my opinion, it's having a trade or a skill behind you. So learn something you like, do your time, and the work will come. Just about got my blast suit on and I'm ready to go. One last look at the beautiful artwork and a sneaky little lat spray. I'll do a final check on my hoses before I'm ready to blast. Where I'll be blasting is fully encapsulated so none of the garnet sprays out and affects any other workers. I wear the helmet the whole time while I'm blasting, so visibility isn't the best at times. And there you have it, Tommy the Astronaut. And this is what it looks like after it's been blasted. Without going into too much detail, depending on what inspection they want to do, will determine how clean we blast the pipe. The workers that inspect the welds in pipe usually mark out where they want us to blast. Some of the jobs we do require us to run our hoses from the bottom all the way up to the top. Not all of our jobs are as straightforward as the last one. Some of our jobs are in tricky little spots, just like this one. So there you have it guys. If there's one bit of advice I can give you, is learn a trade or a skill, get good at it, and the work will come. If you like this content, follow and like for more.